I'm going to make a mosaic tile using different shades of blue. I'm going to use this mermaid by the color art as well as Guatemalan green and surfs up. And then I also have these Aurora type pigments. So I just mixed up about eight ounces of resin and then I separated that into different cups and added my pigment. And I'm using a syringe to make sure that I'm able to get into each of the cavities and only the cavities. I don't want this to go above those little rims that are there. And I'm just doing this in a varied pa um, pattern. Um, just, I didn't want them right next to each other, the same exact colors, but um, I did want to give it some contrast and just using the different shades of blue so that it doesn't actually make it look like um, it's too crazy. I could have went with red, yellow, orange, green, but I just wanted to do more of like a ombre blues. And the Aurora pigment um, I'm adding just because it gives it this uh, pearlescent look as opposed to just using a plain white. I felt it would give it a little bit more character. And then I just went ahead and continued adding that to each of those cavities until they were all complete. So I will let you all watch peacefully and be back once I'm ready for the next step. Now that all those little cavities are filled, I am going back with the popsicle stick and just swirling the resin around a little um, just to give it some movement and not have it just sit there flat. Um, and I did that in each of the different um, cavities or cells in this mold. And then once I finished with that, I did spritz it with a little bit of isopropyl alcohol and allowed that to cure per the manufacturer's instructions. Now that the resin has cured that first layer with the colors, I'm going back in with some additional resin and I want it to kind of look like sand. So I'm gonna use this champagne pigment as well as the smoky quartz and just mix those together to see if I can get the color. And I think that's pretty good, you know, close to a sandish type color. And then I'm just gonna back pour this over top of the cured resin, the mosaic tile things that I've already created until the mold is completely full. And then I will go over that with the popsicle stick and swirl that just like I did with each of the individual cavities, spritz it with some isopropyl alcohol and allow it to cure. And now that it's cured, it's ready to be demolded. Are you ready? Let's look at this. I love this. This turned out exactly how I want it. Absolutely perfect. I like the sand color. I think it goes very well with the blues and the Aurora pigments. And here's a close-up for you to see the final product. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please do not forget to like, subscribe, share, and press the bell to be alerted to future videos.